What does it mean to have your own Topps car? What was it like the first time you saw yourself in a car? It was unbelievable just because growing up, I collected cards and then I got a room in our house where I got my, all my dad's cards from when he played. So I just always would go through there, look through it, go to a local card shop, like on the weekends, be like, that'd be my thing that would fire me up. And then so just being able to now seeing my face on a box and then opening packs and being able to see me in the pack is, it was, it was pretty surreal. All right, Bobby, we're here to build your very own Tops product. Uh, we have the product blueprint right here in front of you. You're gonna talk us through themes you're passionate about, players, designs. We want to build a Tops product that is truly designed and ideated by you. So with that said, we're gonna start with the themes. We're gonna try to pick three to five themes to build your set with. Then you're gonna give us design direction. We're gonna talk about what kind of stock you like, if you wanna go vintage, modern. Then we're gonna talk about packaging and players to include. So first up, themes. We want to hear what you have in mind. We did provide some thought starters. What do you think is a good place to start for, for a theme for your set? Yeah, I think just a good start would be in the family, just because just everyone talks about me and my dad. And then you look at guys in the big leagues now, it's you got Vlad Jr., Vlad Sr., Bo Bichette, King Griffey Jr., all those guys. Right. So yeah. I think that's something definitely that either like a junior type thing or don't want to go that way, add more players, just the father-son combo. I like the 2019 draft class just because I think it's the start of me. And that's, I think, that kind of me being a little bit of a card collector, that class, there are some big names in there with Rushman, you had Andrew Vaughn up now, uh, CJ Abrams is up, Riley Green, a lot of top prospects now too. And so that 2019 draft class would be something cool. And then also I like being from Texas, I really pride with that and just seeing all the talent from Texas would be something really Cool to see a card like that, whether it's, I don't know if y'all have ever done like a shape of Texas. I don't know if that's something that Die cut. could happen. That's a cool uh, idea. Yeah, that's a first for curateds. Uh, congrats on that idea, but that'd be super cool. We could do a die cut card of Texas. Um, that's a great idea. Yeah, what, what names come to mind? I know we talked about Trevor's story. Yeah, I worked out with him a little bit this off season in the past. And so kind of been a role model for me, just being a shortstop, seeing him from Irving, Texas. And then look at Clayton Kershaw, all those guys, Brian Hayes, I think the list goes on and on. There's a, there's a wall in the uh, clubhouse at the Ranger Stadium. It was all Texas born. There's probably about, I'd say over 100, 100 guys being in the league from Texas. Cool, I mean, I think any others before we move on that you're passionate about? I know we talked about some of like the speed stuff with running and yeah. that could be something. With, also with guys I like growing up, love Derek Jeter, just the way he played him. Dustin Pedroia were my two guys growing up. Infielder, those grinders, the great guys on and off the field, and that's kind of how I pride myself in too, so. Absolutely, I think um, just something as simple as like, you know, your favorites, and it, whether it's yeah. it leans on retired or we go new, that makes a lot of sense, because we can we can get those guys in, you can say why they're important to you on the card back. Yeah, no, I, think, I like that a lot. You, know, you can jot, yeah, jot that for other. I also like the idea of all the number one prospects, I think that's awesome. an honor to have, and then it's a lot of great guys, I think. Or Trout was Trout, no one, Otani. I like those five. I hope from my set that they just kind of get the joy of everything. Cause I want to mix it up between throwback cards, new cards, cards I've never seen before. And so that's what I like. I like the uniqueness. I like people go crazy for the one of ones. So I want to kind of make every card something different in that set. So it makes something that people want to go after. So designs, we have some other players' sets here to pull from. We have some non-baseball stuff. We have some art cards and Topps Now cards. And you're a collector yourself, so you know this stuff pretty well. Anything you gravitate to here, and then we'll talk about what other designs you like and what kind of paper technology you like. I like kind of more like the crazy looking cards, the ones that stand out, because I think a lot of guys gravitate to that. And I know the younger generation, I think that's more like, I don't know what you call that, like foil, holographic, yeah. you know, yeah. neon colors. Yeah, that's always, I mean, good to hear. Sometimes people want to go retro and we obviously want it to be honest to what you like, yeah. but we also want to make like a really exciting product. So if you like that design, that's exciting for me to hear. And I kind of, I kind of like, I don't know how hard it'd be to do, but a little bit of everything because I know sometimes it's opening a pack and you're seeing just all like kind of the base cards kind of, some guys don't even look at them. So I think that that would be cool. So it makes people really get engaged with looking at all of them and enjoying it. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great ideas. Why don't you jot them down so we have it documented? I think the Texas die cut is an incredible idea. Should I put that in here? Uh, yeah, just anywhere on the bottom is fine. Every card different with the same backs. That's great. I don't know if it's possible. 
cool, but one thing that's fun about Bobby about is like holograph card that has his dad on one side and him on the other. We thought about that or like doing like a card sideways and then having like, say this would be the card and then having like an old picture of my dad pitching and then I'd be in the box. Yeah. Having like something like that. Yeah. I think that'd be cool if that would be possible. I don't even know. Yeah. An old picture of my dad pitching and then me at the plate or. I think, that, for I think that's totally possible. Gonna put, a, put the design team to work, but I think, I think people would really like that. What are some of your other favorite cards? Getting the Jeter rookie card was cool. The draft pick, whatever on top. That being a favorite card of yours, do you want to kind of allude to that design for the, um, we can like modernize it or something for you, for the 2019 draft pick one? Yeah, I think that, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Doing that alongside, yeah, with that, that Jeter card. When people look at the cards, I just kind of want them to see it pop, see it like, oh wow, like, it's not just a base card, it's a crazy base card, whatever it is. And so like one of the ideas that immediately popped in my head when we talked about the Everything Bigger in Texas set is just having that Texas die cut card, the shape of Texas. I think that would be something really cool. And just having those bright modern colors with the high gloss, but then also having a little bit of that throwback look too as well. Any photo type of treatment that you're envisioning? If we didn't do any of like the crown or fountain type thing, that could be like maybe a a staple. I kind of like the like the splatter paint look. Yeah. I like the Inception. Yeah. Okay. Those boxes are. That's kind of got the splatter. Thing yeah. Too. Yeah. It kind of just looks like a nice box. Like you're getting a nice pack of cards. And so it's kind of like that. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Jot all that down. I think that's great. Having some type of like logo for the set that works in the crown could be cool. Do you want to call it Tops X Bobby Witt Jr. Do you want to call it? BWJ, you want Junior, just the crown logo, like what do you think would be, look cool when it's on the website? They have like a seating at the Royal thing, I think it's called the Crown Club. Crown Club. So, uh, the Crown Collection. Yeah, I like the Crown Collection. I never even really thought about what everyone has to put in to make a set. So now just doing this little part of it, it's been kind of hard because you look at all the different types of cards that are out there and you want to do this, but you want to do this. And so it's been really a lot of fun trying to build a great little set. Hey, this is Bobby Witt Jr. Check out my top set on tops.com.